Here in Burkina Faso, these delicate plants are already sprouting. Later, they'll create a dense forest to stop the spread of the Sahara Desert. Peter van Midwood works for a Berlin-based IT firm. Right now, he's in Burkina Faso to see if the trees are doing okay. His company is financing the reforestation project. This is a baobab. I know you are used to much bigger baobabs, but this is our baobab. Five thousand kilometers away in the Berlin offices of Ecosia, there's another baobab sprouting. Peter brought back some seeds from Africa as a souvenir. The IT company is trying to generate as much money as possible for reforestation projects. I think trees are something very special. Um, trees are one of these things in life that you only miss when they're gone. So a lot of people in, in the Western world, they take trees for counted, they're nice for leisure and in nature, and they don't realize that they um, provide us with water, they provide us with many nuts, they provide us with timber, there's so many things coming from it. Ecosia is a search engine, like Google or Bing. The site allows users to search for information or products. Users see advertising between the search results. When they click on it, Ecosia earns money, which its founder, Christian Kroll, invests in trees. There are a few ads that are much more valuable than, than other ads. So if you search for, I don't know, buying a new telephone or a car even, then um, a click could yeah, generate maybe even a few euros in revenue for us, which means there would be a lot of trees just because of one click. Most visitors to the site are from France and Germany, but consumers in the US also turn to the search engine. Users like being able to help the environment with just one click. Around 80% of the revenue goes to Ecosia's reforestation projects. Its employees earn average salaries. More importantly, they feel they're contributing to a better world. But they have a long road ahead. The goal is to plant a billion trees by 2020. They've currently reached 7.6 million. They're constantly updating the tally. New reforestation projects are beginning to take off in several parts of Africa. The Usambara Mountains of northeastern Tanzania are another example. Peter returned from the region just a few days ago. So the friends of the Usambara Mountains, this uh, small local company, they contacted us explaining that they have planted uh, half a million trees last year, but that they cooked much, much more together with all the local farmers they're working with. And uh, they're planting local trees um, in a biodiversity hotspot that is very precious. So we got to know each other better and together we worked on a contract and now we're going to plant three million trees with them still this year in Tanzania in the Usambara Mountains. In recent decades, large areas of the ancient forests have been destroyed. It costs just 30 cents to plant a tree here. Even so, it'll take many more internet searches and advertising clicks before everything is green and lush again.